This is a large pure silver medal issued by the Anzin Mining Company in France. It's, it's over 100 years old. It was, it was minted in 1907. Um, this large conglomerate of mines uh, was in northern France. It was established in 1756 and it operated for almost 200 years. Okay, the uh, company was very innovative in technology to support deep mining operations. At the peak in the mid 19th century, it was one of the largest industrial enterprises in all of France. So it was really very, very, very huge. It employed about 12,000 miners. And the company was, um, you know, they paid the miners pretty well compared to most other companies in this industry. They provided housing and welfare and pensions and they sponsored social activities. Um, the mines reached their peak just before World War II but were badly damaged during the war. They struggled to regain profitability during World War II. The mines were nationalized in 1946. They began decommissioning them in the 70s and 80s and was completely closed recently in 1990. But uh, you see here at the top, it says, prosperity through union, suggesting that uh, by working together, all can prosper. And you can see these large refineries and trains and factories. It was very, very huge, huge operation. And this is, you can see clearly one of the workers doing the manual labor. This guy's like a supervisor. And uh, to the left are the extraction statistics over their tenure. So uh, this is a pretty amazing metal. Look at the detail here. These are the founders of the company called the Mines of Anzin. Okay, the you're looking at like the the uh, a Prince de Croix and the Viscount. Jean Jacques Des Desandrian, I can't pronounce his name, the Marquis de Carnet of Taffin, and uh, their associates, investors, legal advisors. Your this is a, clearly a very rare coin, and especially in this kind of condition, there are no dings, no mars, no scratches, no blemishes. To find a coin in pure silver is very rare. You can find them in, in uh, bronze. and But to find it in this condition and in their original uh, custom leather case, almost impossible. So this uh, is about 60 millimeters, two and a half inches, pretty large. That's uh, signed here by the, the artist engraver. His name was Cornel Theonissen. He was a famous French sculptor and medalist who won the first Grand Prix de Rome in 1888. It's hallmarked here. That is the head of a boar, meaning pure silver. Um, so yeah, 98 grams. I'll have to spend the last minute here just allowing you to look at the, the details again.
kind of looks like the founding forefathers of the U.S., very powerful and influential Masons. It's amazing the condition this is in. I, I have never found one close to this great condition. You can see all the details of the sword, the pen, the clothes, buckles on their shoes. But there's a map of Vanzin, northern France, where all these uh, resources lay. So I hope you enjoyed this piece. Signing out.